Hey everybody, uh, here we are in my composer's corner. I had this idea come to me this morning. I've been reading about uh, me and my uncle last night. I didn't know that it was a cover song. I didn't know that John Phillips wrote it with Judy Collins and Neil Young and Stephen Stills. I had realized this morning that some of the versions I've been listening to had a turnaround at the very beginning. And this morning it hit me that uh, there's a quite a famous bebop line, uh, Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie song, Bebop, has a really cool riff at the very beginning of it. And uh, to me, I heard that riff fitting on top of the turnaround. I'm driven to find that version with the Also uh, curious to see if I can transcribe that riff from the beginning of bebop. And so I'm gonna get to work on those things and I'm going to take you with me, okay? The change occurred somewhere in 1973, and after listening to the recordings from September and October, I was able to pinpoint the actual first time that they used the turnaround to be uh, October 19th, and they were actually playing along the lines of a rhythmic cadence to the 26th, um, but still weren't playing the actual dominant chord uh, cadence. And you can hear the difference for yourself, um, first of all, with out turnaround. And now with the turnaround. Well, me and my uncle went right down. So um, what I first want to do is find a recording of Bebop, the Parker Gillespie tune, and um, here's one with uh, Max Roach on drums. Super fast, of course. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of uh, material there, <laughs> obviously, that I can learn from. And um, uh, but I'm going to take just a piece of it and I'm going to slow it down and I'm going to uh, modify just uh, the tail end of the phrase. So it will fit uh, over this um, fit over this cadence and uh, and add a little spicy flavor to this tune, I think. So, um, as I said, I like uh, I like all these other versions. Um, John Denver, Judy Collins, uh, Joni Mitchell. But I have to say, I like Bob Where's the Best. Um, the end is chilling. What do you think happens at the end? Tell me in the comments section. And uh, thanks for checking out this uh, Cavelli's Composer's Corner. See you next time. Thank you.